Jimbo's Garage. All right, so we're here at the job now and we've got the iron back from the powder coaters. This is the gate right here. And then this here is the railing. So the first thing we're gonna do is install the railing right here. This one's gonna be fairly simple. We're just gonna lift it up in place. I've got my two inch spacers uh, right here. And then we're just gonna drill and anchor this uh, into these columns right here. The reason why I'm, I'm doing this railing first is because I wanna establish my height uh, so I can align up the gate uh, that's gonna line up with this. So that's the way I've designed it. So uh, let's go ahead and get this installed. Today's video is sponsored by King Metals. They've got all your fabrication needs in one location. From hinges to hardware, balusters to metal decor, brass to aluminum, and a whole lot more. You name it, they've got it. Check them out today at kingmetals.com. Now let's get back to today's video. All right, so we've established some marks here, some centerline marks on the block right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, you definitely can't see on this side, the sun's in the way. But uh, uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these installed. And the way we're gonna do that, go ahead. Is, of course, the sun is right in the way. So basically what they are are screw anchors. I've got some tabs welded on the back right here and we're just gonna drill it into the block and just screw it in just like that. I got all four of these right here to do. We'll get that done and I'll show you the finished product. All right, now we got our rail installed here. We've uh, measured over here. We've got we've transferred some marks onto the column, transferred some marks uh, here onto the house, and we know our elevation. So now we can go ahead and mount the post to the garage. We want to do this first. This is where we're going to hang the gate from, and then we'll mount the other uh, we'll mount the other post. So here we go. We're, this is we're gonna we're gonna mount this the same way uh, by drilling in. Now this is stucco and underneath the stucco, there's plywood shear on this whole wall. So I know we're gonna hit wood. We're gonna break through the stucco right here. We're gonna use lag screws to tie it in. Be sure that your post is level and we're hitting our mark. You might see this mark right here. This is the bottom side of the cap. This is the right elevation we're trying to hit. So we broke into the stucco right there, and now we're onto the wood, and we're using a, a lag screw right here, and we're just gonna run that in. Just like that, we're there. All right, we'll repeat the process here on the center and the bottom, and we'll get that on. All right, a couple more things we want to do before we put the gate on, and that is put these bushings. Do not lose these brass bushings. This is the most important part of this gate right here is installing these bushings. All right, so now we'll be able to drop the gate on and everything. Will, hopefully everything lines up. All right, there it is. And then we'll put our inch and a half post on the other side. And there it is, our gate is installed. Let's get the other post on and we'll finish this up. Post installed. And there it is. All right, that works really good. Now for you OCD guys, I know if you're like me, you're worried about these holes right here. That's what these are for. Just like that. I'll put them in all of them, and that'll finish that off. All right, there it is. Finished installed. That's the ironwork. 
and then here's the gate and the gate closes perfectly and the idea was to line up those collars top and bottom on the on the railing to line up uh, on the gate so if you look at the whole project those collars should line up all the way across all right that was a good install i hope you guys learned something from it see you next time on jimbo's garage